Hello, my name is Jeremy with Faithful Guardian Training Center. Today we're going to be talking about the cardiovascular system, and specifically uh, blood flow through the heart and your and your circulatory system. Uh, start off with you need to know that uh, your heart consists of two pumps. It's got your right side and your left side. And your heart is made up of four chambers. So you have an atria and a ventricle on your left and an atria and a ventricle on your right. Uh, so what this means is that blood flow, uh, let's start in your right atrium. Your right atria goes into something that's called your tricuspid valve. And it's just a valve that separates your right atria from your right ventricle. Blood then enters your right ventricle to get pumped like as your ventricle squeezes out of your pulmonic, uh, your pulmonic valve. And this leads to the pulmonary artery. Now, all this right here, this all contains deoxygenated blood as uh, it is your right atria receives blood from your vena cava, which is the, the used blood from, from your body. So, uh, a lot of people have a misunderstanding that an artery is always going to carry oxygenated blood, but that's not true. An artery is just something that is leaving in the general direction away from the heart. And so your pulmonary artery is getting pumped as blood uh, that is being carried away from the heart, and that is what makes it an artery. Your pulmonary artery uh, then branches off into your left and your right pulmonary arteries, which then go to your lungs. All right. So whenever it receives your, uh, whenever your your blood reaches into your lungs, you have your pulmonary capillaries right there at the cap alveolar capillary membrane. And so what this allows to happen is this allows the oxygenated blood or the oxygenated uh, air that we're breathing in make it onto the blood and the deoxygenated blood that we have is now oxygenated and it's offloaded the carbon dioxide uh, gas that it was carrying from the waste products of the blood. So after it leaves your pulmonary capillaries it goes into uh, your pulmonary veins uh, which your pulmonary vein is going to end up leading into your left atrium. Your left atrium, it, it is a high pressure system uh, going into your left ventricle. And um, so what this is allowing to happen is this is your that left-sided system, that high pressure system, it's allowing uh, your body to receive oxygenated blood that it's pumping out. So your left atrium goes through this, uh, this valve that's called the bicuspid valve or the mitral valve, the term is interchangeable, and that goes into your left ventricle. And your left ventricle is a very muscular uh, muscular section of the heart, and it has to be because it's, again, the high-pressure system, because it has to pump all the blood that oxygenates your entire body. This is true uh, if, you're, if you're running, if you're just sitting on the couch, laying at home, if you're sitting there watching this video, uh, your left ventricle is what is allowing you to uh, to stay oxygenated essentially. Now your left ventricle it pumps out through your aortic valve, which then goes through your aorta. So you have your aorta, your ascending aorta, your aortic arch, your uh, thoracic aorta, your abdominal aorta, um, and it goes through all of these uh, these types of vessels until it eventually makes it back to the uh, the right atrium via the vena cava, which is the largest vein in the body. So uh, your aorta is an artery, and everything in between is either going to be an artery, an arteriole, a capillary, a, vein, a venule, or a vein. And uh, so your aorta is the, the largest artery in the body. Your vena cava is the largest vein in the body. So uh, again, the progression from uh, of blood vessels from your left atrium, uh, your left ventricle, through to your right atrium. You have your aorta, which is an artery. It goes through the other arteries of the, of the body. These branch off into arterioles, which then branch off into capillaries. And the capillaries is where the gas exchange actually takes place, where cellular respiration takes place, and where diffusion takes place. As soon as it leaves the capillaries, you have now have deoxygenated blood in the body. And that's going to be in your venules, which is then going to go to your veins. And they're going to make it up to your vena cava through your superior and inferior vena cava to your right atrium. And then it's all going to get pumped out into the lungs, which is going to get oxygenated. And then from that point, it makes it back to the left atrium, left ventricle, to get cycled through the body all over again. And that's blood flow through the heart.